Here I am. To get to Ubud, there are a lot of options scattered throughout town. You can take a van, bus, but we actually think taking Grab is the best way. It's not that expensive, it's efficient, it's essentially a private car. It's a great way to see the city. In the, in the countryside. So you finally made it to Ubud, and first things first, you're most likely going to want to rent a motorbike. The downtown area is nice, and it's definitely worth exploring, but most of the attractions, like the rice fields, the waterfalls, everything else definitely a car ride away and obviously the cheaper option is a motorbike motorbike rentals range anywhere from 50 to 70 per day depending on where you get it from it's the easiest way to zip around the city but my one suggestion is never take your eyes off the road because shit gets hectic here in all of our southeast asia travels this has definitely been the most aggressive driving we've experienced so be cautious and be careful. Instagram perfect swings and it definitely seems to be the more popular one. Tickets to get in are only 10,000. You do have to make donations from walking from rice paddy to rice paddy. And a little insider tip is if you want the place a little bit more vacant, come really early in the morning. Just 17 minutes down the road from the rice fields is a temple called Pura Tirta Impo. And it's a pretty sacred temple with a pretty cool history. Okay, so it costs 15,000 per adult to get into the holy temple. Always with all temples, there are typically dress codes and rules. Most of the time they apply to women. In this case, it also applies to men. So everyone has to be covered all the way down to your feet. Shoulders must be covered. They do have sarongs available. So don't worry about bringing anything extra, guys or girls. So Pura meaning temple, Tirta meaning holy, holy water, water, and Impul meaning from the ground. This temple was built in 960 AD, and it's most famous for being a source of a natural spring of water. The reason why most people come here, one, is to enjoy the temple, and two, is to actually cleanse themselves from their sins. And the way that they do that is by going into the holy water, and there's 13 different fountains that you can bathe yourself in. And apparently you can actually drink the water too. So traditionally the way it works is the pilgrims would enter the rectangular area where the pools are, they would say their prayers, then they would put their hands together, get in the cold mountain water, and walk down the 13 spouts that are coming out. The last two spouts were used specifically for purification purposes. Another thing you'll never 
inevitably run into when you're here in a boat is the monkey forest. It's basically a huge green space with a lot of macaques. And there is an admission fee, but honestly, if you wanted to skip it, you can catch plenty of monkeys outside and all around the parking lot in front of it. Just be careful when you're walking through that area or when you're around the monkeys because they're known to come up and steal whatever's in your hand. in downtown Ubud is the Kampuhan Ridgeline Walk. Getting there is pretty simple. All you have to do is find it on Google Maps. But an important thing to note is when you do pull into a hotel, stick to the left, go down a hill a little bit, and there's motorbike parking on the left-hand side if you do decide to park. Otherwise, you can just walk here and it's completely fine. I recommend doing it either at the end of the day to try to catch the sunset, or if you come in the morning, you'll actually spot a lot of locals coming to work out. As you make your way along the ridge line, there's actually almost a village at the top where there's places you can stay, grab something to drink, eat. They have it all. He just never learns. It's by Chanel. Jen, it's the new fall fashion line. I'm just debuting it right now in the spring. Tagalalalang. Tagalalala. Fashion baby. Show it off for the camera. Show it all off for the camera. Twirl around like a ballerina. Don't don't fall off the ledge. <laughs> bite bite it. Touch your face. Sensually. Amazing. Look at me in the grass. Ooh, be nature.